How many times can you see this? Before December the 1st, <laughs> six goals in 15 games. Since December the 1st, 12 goals in nine games. Loving life, mm -hmm. once again. We discuss it at length because it's Cristiano Ronaldo and because we expect the standard to drop. And I think leading up to December the 1st, inevitably we talked about it here on the show. Is it just a case he wasn't fit? Yeah, and uh, but I think explaining that and saying that he just wasn't fit doesn't do enough for Cristiano Ronaldo. Clearly, there were things that were going on in his body. But I, individually, I just don't think that he felt confident enough in his body to trust that he was going to be able to do the things that he's known to be, to be doing for the last decade or so. Now that he's fit, not only does he have trust in his body, but the confidence is there. And, and you may say, well, the confidence never leaves a guy like Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, com confidence is fickle. Confidence doesn't care whether you're Ronaldo or Messi. And when you don't see the ball going in the back of the net at the same rate that you have done throughout the course of your career, you're going to take a dip in confidence as well. You're going to take a hit because you, you're hoping that, that things are going to happen for you, but your body's not reacting the way you want it to. You're not seeing the goal in the back of the net, and then we saw what we saw, the struggles. Now, once you get a run like this, the man bun is flowing, everything is going yeah. well, and he feels like, like... Today he was miserable because he didn't score a hat trick. Yep. That's where Ronaldo is now, where he wasn't like that early on in the season. There were a couple of times where he got a free header in the box, he couldn't score for the hat trick, and you can see it like the world is about to end. Well, that means Ronaldo's back. Does Sarri get any sort of credit for this? No. It's that simple? <laughs> no. No, listen, it's all about fitness. You know, when, when, when somebody like him and his standards are so high and we expect so much of him, when he's not 100% fit, he's never going to reach that because he's hesitant. It takes more time because he thinks about it. And because, of, because he's not as quick as he was, that gives young defenders time to get blocks in and get close to him. But when he's 100% fit, because he's smart, off he goes and the ball's in the back of the net. And of course, three points for Juventus, an important three points given that Inter can only manage that draw earlier on in the day. Uh, four points, now the difference between Juve and Conte's side. Uh, Lazio, meanwhile, sitting in third. They're six to one, Inter seven to two, Juve five to two on. Any chance for Inter? Is it too early to write them off? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's early to write them off, but you see why you lean Juventus. Because in games that could have gone one way or the other, Juventus usually wins. Whereas in games that could have gone one way or the other, now Inter is finding it difficult for them to, to get three points. So now you drop two points here, you drop two points there, and now two weeks later, they're four points behind, and now how do you make up that difference? This should, this should be a great time for them to turn around and go, you know what, we need to pull the plug and get Christian Eriksen. Because games like this right. is when you need somebody who can pull something. Why are you pulling the plug on Ericsson? <laughs> He's not dead. What are you talking about? Don't pull the plug on someone. <laughs> well. <laughs> I mean, pull the trigger. Pull, pull the, the trigger. trigger You're pulling the trigger. <laughs> because somebody like him wins you, this, this is a game that, that they win you. So That's it. Get it done. Get it done. Don't pull the plug. <laughs> pull the trigger. <laughs> Take him out of his misery. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.